Hello, welcome pen friends. Welcome to day 17 of the ink journal uh, challenge. 30 inks, 30 days. And today, um, if I do any more writing, I'll be writing with Noodlers and Tedum. And it's a very interesting ink. I'm hoping, I'm actually looking like we have a little better lighting today that'll show you that this ink is hard to categorize it. It can look red. It can look brown, and sometimes it can even look orange. So it is. It relies on some different kind of light to see, but um, there it is. And then we're going to go ahead and start the bath test right away with it, to, so it'll be working. And uh, oh boy, yeah. See, I see orange coming out immediately out of that, and I thought that was interesting because I. It also looks very reddish, too. So we'll get to look at some comparables in a minute, but I'm going to push that over. And we'll get right into the ink journal here. Oops, wanted to start with the big page. Wow, this is really filling, filling up here. Looks beautiful, even on the um, Rhodia Gold book, I thought. It's day 17. There, okay. And then I uh, started a whole new spread on this side with this ink. And it, I really like it. And I understand now why, because I got out some older... Um, some of my samples are all used up, but uh, I've got out one that really goes with it, and I'll show you that in a minute. But it's it's just a really pleasing shade, even though I can't pinpoint it. I mean, I I suppose you could call it red, but you could also call it brown. <laughs> and, you know, it's got a lot of interesting stuff going on. But it is available at Goulet Pens for the big 3-ounce, um, which is uh, $12.50. Very reasonable price there. And I do love it. I think I could write with it. It's very unique, and yet I could look at this ink all day. It's definitely a uh, shade that... Uh, oh, and oh, I gave away the secret. It reminds me of Diamine Ancient Copper, which unfortunately I ran out of the last drop of that, unless I did have some things come in through the door today, some samples uh, given to me. Uh, everybody's been so generous. It was like a shower of mail today. So I may have something I don't know about yet, but I haven't had a chance to process through the mail. So anyway, this was this looks really nice on everything. Um, let's oh let's go first into the the cafe note, which is the Nanami Paper Company Tamoy River Paper. Um, it looked really good on here, and it was quite a bit darker at first, and then it it, it did go ahead and uh, fade. The the dip had in the serendipity pen had kind of worn out. It's been a rough day, but I'm not going to talk about that till the end because uh, I, I want to I want to do the review. I want to keep this series going, and so there's that. It looked good, though. It really looked good. Now, here it is on the envelopes, and we're seeing the same thing. We're seeing a lot of feathering on this not too good quality, uh, you know, envelope. It it may be fine for. Uh, G2s, Pilot G2s, and, and even for the uh, Pitt Artist pens, but it doesn't work good with fountain pen ink. Perfectly good on the Claire Fontaine, so we'll look forward to that water test later. Um, on the Loistrum, looks real good, no bleed through and no feathering that I can detect, and it does shade really well too on, on there, so... And I, I just didn't encounter any problems at all with it. On This is the Claire Fontaine uh, Small Spiral Notebook. Went on there really good, and it looks nice. hope I'm not <laughs> holding that up too far. And then this is, I'm out of order, I think, today. This is the Rhodia. Um, same thing there. Of course, it looks super on there. And then let me just take a real quick peek. Now, it didn't even bleed through the... Uh, Office Depot College Rule Notebook. So that's a broad nib. So that was interesting. Um, that's a dark saturated ink. So I was happy that it didn't bleed through. And then here it is on CVS Caliber Paper, which I went, I, I, I got my first notebook that's made by them. I'll show it on another video, I think. But uh, I'm really happy about that. To think of having a like an A5 size notebook that won't bleed through even with a broad nib. That's going to be really nice for lots of things. Okay, so let's take a look over here real quick and then we can look at those comparables. Oh, well isn't that interesting? It, it's not disappearing quite as much as you'd think and what I see that's left there definitely looks red to me, to my eyes, and what's uh, what came up looked orange, so we'll let that go a little longer. And let's get this out. So. 
I didn't really know where to put this ink and I would imagine I wouldn't be the only one. So this was uh, the day that we did Robert Oster Cafe Crema. I only had six uh, to put on there and I did put, let's see, so I added three to the bottom which was kind of funny because for some reason I thought Robert Oster Astrakiza Rot and whatever, however that said. I thought that was going to be comparable, but it was totally out out of the woods, and so was Caveco Sunrise Orange. <laughs> but I did think that it belonged near the Pelican Brown. I thought that was a reasonable, you know, you really can't pinpoint this. I probably would have to get my rust colored inks out, and I really didn't realize that until I was way into this and had run out of, you know, <laughs> out of time. So. The one, though, that I still had was the Diamine Ancient Copper, and uh, I did not have a, not a drop of ink left anywhere, you know, to try it on another piece of this watercolor. But I do believe that would make a really fair comparison, and probably my Monteverde Canyon Rust, but I just wasn't thinking that way when I started. So this is an ink that can really fool you. You know, you can... You can say, gee, where does it go, you know? <laughs> so that's what I found. And so this isn't so much of a really uh, helpful, probably, comparison today. But uh, as we go forward, it may show up on another uh, one of our comparisons. And then I'll know better what it does on this paper, and we could compare it a little bit better. So, But I thought it was funny. I thought, oh, it's, it's one of those tricky ones that's going to make you get out all the different colors, and you're still not quite getting there. So that was that. Now, just before we end, um, tomorrow's ink is going to be another interesting one, one that won't be easily categorized. I'm going to hold it kind of funny because I can see that what you're seeing when I hold it like this is pretty accurate like but if I go like that then it darkens it real significantly this is Papier Plume Bootlegger Sacrament out of the ink flight in July and I think that we're really gonna have fun trying to figure out you know what compares to this one it's quite unique and yet it's got that deep plum or um, I guess you could say violet so that will be tomorrow for day 18 Oh, I forgot to say the thank you uh, for the, today's sample. Thank you very much to Pen Friend Sue, who sent this sample and, and four others, which we're seeing most of hers, the ones she had sent in this series. So thank you very much, because that I that way I had the ink to, to learn about. It's so great. Um, so in uh, it's going to be hard, but I have to say... Uh, we had another pet loss today, and it was somewhat expected because she was our oldest kitty. And she had been up and down and, and back and forth for quite a while. But I still wasn't, I wasn't expecting it so much so that I didn't even have her blanket with me today. But she's at peace now. We had to put her to sleep, and uh, she's going to be missed so much. And this is our third they all got to be senior kitties at the same time. That's the thing. It's not like I'm like negligent or killing my kitties, but they all got to be seniors at the same time. She was the oldest, so she survived six months past uh, the last one that we lost was Tony. And this is a little crystal that I'm going to put up on her little um, memorial thing. And uh, so I'm late with the video, and I'm not real, you know, together, but I still wanted to do it because... Uh, even she takes part, or took part in the video. She used to make, make her little yelps to tell me that she was coming through, you know, coming back from her other room there. So um, I'm going to miss her a lot, but uh, thank you for the prayers and well wishes that I've already seen on Facebook. And uh, I will see you tomorrow, you know, God willing, <laughs> with the next color, which is that interesting Papier Plume Bootlegger Sacrament. So thank you very much, and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye for now.